Okay, for number two, Tiana plans to put hardwood floor in her front room of her house, except the entryway that is a half circle. The room is 12 by 15, and the radius of the circle is three. If the flooring costs this much per foot, what is the cost of her front room? So we've got to do the area of the whole rectangle minus the area of the semicircle in order to find that missing area that we're actually going to be putting that flooring into. So what's my area for the big rectangle? It's going to be length times width or 15 times 12. And then the area of that little guy, remember that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of a semicircle is pi r squared over 2. Well, I know that my radius is 3. So 9, 3 squared is 9, right? So 9 pi over 2 is going to be my area of that semicircle. Now I can go further to simplify that instead of keeping it in terms of pi, like we used to in our old math classes. And we would say that 15 times 12 is 180. And then on my calculator, remember you can turn your phone calculator to the side, and you can do 9 times pi, and then divide that by 2. And I'm getting an, an estimation of 18.85 for the 9 pi time divided by 2. And so 180 minus that is going to give me 161.15 square feet. Remember that area is squared square feet. So that's my area, but we want to go by flooring for this. So 161.15 times the eight and a quarter per square foot, 161.15 times 8.25 is 1329 and 50 cents if I round up. But think about this. Am I going to buy exactly that much floor if that's my square footage? I'm probably going to round that up, I don't know, to maybe 170 and have some extra flooring just in case I mess up or we cut one piece wrong or something like that. So I'm going to put a range here, 14.02 and 50 cents. I'm going to put a range from anywhere from 13.29.50 to 1.402 and 50 cents so that we're leaving space for that extra flooring just in case. We can't just buy this exact amount of flooring. That's probably not going to work in real life. Okay. How'd you do?